Summer Arts Academy is a project that we run here at Dulwich Pitch Gallery for young people living in Southwark. It's a week-long intensive programme and this year we've been focusing on performance art, reinterpreting the collection to tell the stories in a different way. So on the first day we were given a tour of the gallery which is great. It was a nice chance to get to know the paintings a bit more. The people that work here and also the artists Chloe helped us look at paintings in a different way and gave us a bit of a backstory as to what they were about as well. We've been actually learning the context of the paintings other than just look at them and say, oh, this is a wonderful painting, to say, wow, this painting has a lot of story, a lot of background to it. So we've been looking, discussing and responding. And that's something that really comes from my practice. And as an artist working with young people, it's always good to draw from your practice. We've been looking at concepts of beauty and bodies and time and desire and personal rights. Um, we've also had a look at the painting of Samson and Delilah and we've tried to think about where each of us holds the power within our bodies. We've made costumes and we worked with the photographer Gordon to make photographic portraits as well. Because I do a lot of dancing and acting, I did my legs here and I put my feet and my mouth because acting contains speaking. So, Superior Harvey. The week culminates in an exhibition which is shown at the gallery. It's open to the public, free to visit, and it runs for eight weeks. And it's a celebration of their work of the week. And they will also be staging a performance piece happening in the gallery, which we've never done before. So that will be followed by the public, by their friends and family, and will take us all around the gallery in the pavilion. We're trying to question people when they see our performance. Is this what you wanted? Like, what did you find within this? What did you discover? And it's using what we questioned ourselves in what we found in the paintings. In 200 years, art will be there. In all of our performances, there's more than what originally comes across. And we think that's really important because it allows the public and all our friends and family to look in and be more interested at the backstory behind it. The performance is a combination of different ideas just learning about how the paintings, in a way, are hiding messages. Through our performance, we've kind of wanted to explore how difficult it is to get a message through, especially in our society. I have a right to have my own feelings. To be told a relationship is changing and not blame myself or change myself to keep it going. I have the right. I have the right to say no and disagree. The performance was amazing, very interesting to see the old paintings and then the kids doing their performance. Brilliant, I've, I really enjoyed it. The favourite part was the mirror, you know, to find yourself, it makes you think. The point is it's not an opportunity they get very often and they've done a fantastic job I think. Today's performance was really incredible. We're looking at how we can tell the different stories of our collections in different ways that make it accessible to all audiences and so the performance today is really showing us the way that we can do that which is really exciting and we're learning so much from the young people. It was quite nerve-wracking at first but like over the days we've built relationships with the gallery and with the other people as well. They've really embraced the concept so I couldn't be more grateful and more proud of them. It was my first time coming here it was a really great introduction to the gallery and what they have to offer for young people.